Kasibayanda. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another opportunity to break some things that are hindering us. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. We love you. We ask you to show us your way that we may walk with you. Show us your way, O oh Lord. Show us your way that we may walk with you. That we may walk with you. Show us your way, O oh Lord. Welcome, 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 welcome. This evening we are having a conversation and we will be praying and breaking some things. Have you got your egg? If you have your egg, let me know you have your egg. Let it be a boiled egg. Make sure you have your boiled egg and your boiled egg should be shelled. So do you have your egg? Let me know you have your egg and that your egg is shelled. Hallelujah, glory. Glory, 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 glory. Let me know you have your egg and that your egg is shelled. Do you have your egg? Do you have your egg as you prepare to have your egg, amen? Thank you so much, I get the feedback there. Uh, you say you have your egg. Let me know you have your egg, Father God, Kiraba Sinde Gizando Zete. We ask that your Holy Spirit will come and teach us and show us the way. Zikaraka Senteliende, Ziamazondo, Giaba Zizende, Giaganda Galigizanda, Giagodoro Bozi Yagende. Shelled and ready. That's right. I have my egg shelled and ready. I have my egg. Make sure it's a boiled egg. It let it be a boiled egg. Kilangaliande Gianda Garanda. Galondo Gida de Gizande Liganda Ligando. Make sure you have your egg. Let me know I have my egg. I have my egg. I have my egg. Zelicanto di Akente Gilandada Galende. Gilandoro Bozinde Giandede. Someone is coming out today. Someone just has to come out today someone says i have my egg that's right god bless austin may the lord god use you as a contact point for austin as you invite and share remind your friends and your family that you know to bring their eggs and let me know you are ready amen i see you know all of you confirming that you are ready you are ready we are going to break curses we will break curses so tonight's title is breaking curses for dummies breaking curses for dummies i once was a dummy when it came, when it came to the, the the subject of curses until i had an encounter with god that showed me you know get, showed me things i never knew existed he showed me things i never knew existed amen someone says god bless you we are blessed to have you. oh well it is such an honor for me to be able to share the little that i have gleaned from the spirit of the lord so thank you so much for that feedback please keep letting us know that you're blessed by these sessions we want to make sure we're not wasting your time and hours thank you for that feedback i have my egg i have my egg amen if you have your egg we will be ready to take off let me know you're sharing let me know you are inviting let me know that your friends and your family are connecting amen highly important topic for like never before everybody should be having this conversation like never before let me say it again every church should be addressing the matter subject of curses thank you for sharing and thank you for inviting you and i will remain the same you and i will be sitting in the same place for many many years until very real all around us and many we are sitting under these curses. We have curses in our homes, curses in our families. We have curses around us. We are living in the curse, but we don't realize we are living under the curse. Someone says, I have my egg. Let me know you have your egg. Amen. Go with me this quickly this evening to the word. Go with me quickly to the word. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Yes, I see those confirmations. You say, I have my egg. I have my egg. We were blessed yesterday, yesterday night. I have faith blessings after the session in Jesus name. Amen. May the Lord God continue to enlarge your territory. May the Lord God continue to break the curses around you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Now, 
If you have a friend who needs to be on this broadcast, make sure you get them to join. They will be glad that they were part of this live session. Amen. But go with me quickly this evening. Let us pick up from Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 20. I, I brought that up yesterday. Praise God. Amen. Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 20, keep letting me know you have your egg. As soon as you let me know you have your egg, I will start touching on the egg. Amen. So unto once we have at least 15 people who confirm they have their eggs, we will start touching on the subject of the eggs. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 20, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me thank you for sharing i see all of those uh, shares and invites amen because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me now you have different kinds of curses the primary curse that i speak of is the curse is is the divine curse amen that's the that's the main curse that i dwell on is the divine curse and then when you when you start moving down you will see other kinds of curses are you with me you will find other kinds of curses and i'm not really zooming in on those other on the other curses i'm zooming in on the b one amen and zooming in on the big one once you've got the once you 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 are able to grasp you know what is required as far as the big curse is concerned it takes care of every other smaller curse are you with me someone say oh lord my god open my eyes open my eyes to see any curse in my life open my eyes to see any curse in my family open my eyes to see any curse in my marriage open my eyes to see any curses in my children's lives open my eyes oh lord to see any curses in my community oh lord open my eyes to recognize the curses listen to me a person can be under the curse and not recognize that they are under the curse a person can be under a curse and not recognize that they are under the curse that's why tonight we are saying oh lord wash my eyes so wash my eyes so i can recognize the curse wash my eyes to recognize the curse in the name of jesus let me show you something quickly we will come back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 go with me quickly to ephesians ephesians chapter 1 praise the lord in ephesians chapter 1 amen the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1, I want to show you how we recognize the curse. Praise God. In Ephesians chapter 1, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1, and if you're there, let me know that you're in Ephesians chapter 1. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 1, hallelujah, and verse 18. He says, the eyes of, my, of your understanding being enlightened, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, until the eyes of your understanding are enlightened, you cannot see the curse until the eyes of your understanding and are enlightened you will think other people are cursed but you are all right until the eyes of your understanding are enlightened you cannot recognize what is going on around you are you with me so say lord open my eyes to recognize the curses that's right until the eyes of your understanding are enlightened you cannot recognize the curse it's important that we pray and say oh lord let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened until the eyes of your understanding are enlightened you cannot recognize the curse until the eyes of your understanding are enlightened you cannot recognize the curse someone say oh lord let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened let the eyes of my understanding so you see many times we, we want to recognize curses we hope to recognize curses by what our physical eyes see but the curse is will be seen by the eyes of your understanding so understand you have the eyes of the understanding and those are different from the physical eyes that you and i have are you with me you have the eyes of the understanding which are different from the 
physical eyes that we have that's a message for another day praise the lord but with the eyes of your understanding you are enlightened hallelujah with the eyes of your understanding you are enlightened to become a partaker of heavenly things so until you you, you the eyes of your understanding are enlightened you don't know what you are partaking of until the eyes of your understanding are enlightened you don't know what you're partaking of so we're praying oh god open the eyes of my understanding that i may see as i should see oh lord let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened to recognize the curse I will make some shocking statements. I will make a couple of shocking statements on this broadcast. I will make a couple of very, very shocking, extremely revealing statements. Praise the Lord. So as you follow me, I want you to remember what I always say, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself in advance. Because until you understand, you know, that there is, there's not much you can do about it, you know, except following the instructions and the directives that the Spirit of God is giving, you will continually be under condemnation. Praise God. So someone say, I forgive myself. Someone say, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Go ahead and forgive yourself before I, I delve into the subject matter. Go ahead and forgive yourself. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to every one of you for giving, for giving, praise God. Thank you for giving, you know, to ensure that this, this, um, this word continues to go out to, to those who need it. Praise God. I want you to know that all of your giving is transforming lives. Hallelujah. All of your giving is transforming lives. Glory be to God. Now, when you look at Deuteronomy chapter 20, 28 and verse 20. We are back to Deuteronomy 28, 20. Amen. Thank you. I see those going up. You know, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. That's right. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. And keep letting me know that you have your egg. Your egg is ready. So forgive yourself. Praise the Lord. Forgive yourself again because there are many things I'm going to say this evening that may be a little jolting. Amen. Very good. Now, the Bible says... You know, because you have forsaken me, that's Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 20. It says, because you have for, forsaken me, praise the Lord. It says, because you have forsaken me. Every time, thank you so much, subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's Christ Image International Church, praise God. Every time we forsake God, we bring ourselves under the power of another. Every time we forsake God in any aspect of our lives, we bring ourselves under the control of another. Are you with me? Every single time I forsake God, you know, in my finances, in my relationships, in, in my life, you know, in general, I, I forfeit, I, I hand over the reins of my life to someone else. Are you with me? So every time, thank you so much to give by Cash App. You know, you have the link right there. I know people keep asking, you know, where should I give? You have the link for Cash App. You have the link for PayPal. And I continue to thank you for giving. Go ahead and you can use those links as they scroll up. Hallelujah. So every time you forsake God, you hand yourself over to someone else. Every time you forsake God in any aspect of your life, whether consciously or unconsciously, you hand yourself over to another's control. Let me show you that. Forsaking the Lord is e equal to bewitching. Forsaking the Lord is equal to bewitching. Are you with me? So whenever I forsake I come under the power of bewitchment. Can I say that again? Every time I forsake the Lord, I have left the power of the Lord and I come under the power of bewitchment. Are you with me? The Bible says, and let's go there quickly in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, who has bewitched you? Who has bewitched you, my Lord? Somebody needs to ask who has bewitched you. Somebody 
morning needs to ask who has bewitched you? Who has bewitched your marriage? Who has bewitched your children? Who has bewitched your finances? Who has bewitched? Every time you forsake God, you hand yourself over to another's control. It is called bewitching. It is called bewitching. Who has bewitched your marriage? Who has bewitched your family? Who has bewitched your money? Who has bewitched you? That's the question tonight. Uh, someone needs to ask, oh Lord, am I bewitched? Oh Lord, am I bewitched? Oh Lord, am I bewitched? And and bewitched who has bewitched me that's Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1 who has bewitched me who has bewitched me my Lord I'm telling you someone needs to hear this word that God put on my spirit someone needs to hear I know that there is a you know I can there is them there's the number of people you know who will listen to this message you know whose spirits will be ignited I will be able to light you up a little you know I may not be a big fire but I've got some fire that can light you up are you with me I've got a little fire that can light you up once you start asking the question I might be witched once you start asking the question who has bewitched me once you start asking the question you start getting the answers questions are the answers you need questions are the answers you need my lord and my god let every be every kind of bewitchment be exposed let the bewitchment in your finances be exposed let the bewitchment in your family be exposed let the bewitchment in your children's lives be exposed let the bewitchment concerning the works of your hands be exposed somebody said oh lord expose it oh lord expose it expose it let the bewitchment let let any kind of bewitchment around me be exposed in the name of Jesus. Let any kind of bewitchment around me be exposed. Somebody needs to pray, oh Lord, expose any bewitchment around me. Expose any bewitchment in my life. Expose the bewitchment in my home. Expose the bewitchment over my children. Expose the bewitchment, oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, expose the bewitchment. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened to see the bewitchment around me, to see the bewitchment in my life, to see the bewitchment in my children's lives. Oh Lord, expose that bewitchment. Oh Lord, expose that bewitchment. Somebody needs to pray, oh Lord, expose that bewitchment. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, expose it. Expose any bewitchment right now. Expose the bewitchment, oh Lord. Expose the bewitchment, oh Lord. Shantara basa katara basa talimanda makatara masun toro bose ketere besete. Oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, expose it. Expose every bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Expose that bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, expose it. Enough is enough. I'm tired of being under. I'm tired of going in circles. I'm tired, oh Lord. Expose the bewitchment. Expose the bewitchment. The bewitchment in my relationships. Oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, expose it. Expose it, Father. Father, expose it. Makata rabasaya mayani anaya baba. Makata imaya matoro bosi baya baba. Mahia mashia masiki yana rabasete. Mia mala mama solo bosi dedi yana rakata. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened to see the bewitchment around me. To see the bewitchment around me. Oh Lord, expose it. Oh Lord, show me. Show me the bewitchment, Lord. Show me the bewitchment, Lord. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened to see. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened to see. Ay, 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 
Jesus said, Oh Lord, let, let, let every bewitchment be exposed. Let every bewitchment be exposed. Let every bewitchment be exposed. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened. Enough is enough, oh Lord. Enough is enough, oh Lord. Ishaya mama da 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 da. Iya mama ma sende de de. Iya kala da da sende de de de. My soul is crying out. My my soul is crying out under the burden of the bewitchment. My soul is crying out. My strength is failing me under the burden, the weight of the bewitchment. Expose every bewitchment, oh Lord. Expose every bewitchment, Lord. Expose every bewitchment, Father. I see somebody. I see somebody. I see somebody crying. You're in your bedroom and you're crying. You're crying over a relationship. You're not married to this person. You're not married to this person, but this person is in another relationship with someone else. <laughs> Can I keep talking? Can I keep talking? Can I keep talking? This person is, you are in a relationship with somebody. I see you crying. You're crying. You are in a relationship with somebody but this person you had you you knew all along but you got you just got a sneak preview into it and you got to see them you got to see this this, this you know you you got evidence you know you already knew but you just suddenly saw it with your own eyes and it has hurt it has affected you in in ways that you cannot quite express with words and it's brought you to the realization that is not how you want to live your life it's brought you to the realization you want to live your life where you have your own spouse to yourself. It's brought you to the place where you're asking questions, why Lord? Why am I in this kind of relationship? But at the same time you feel trapped because you want to be in the relationship but you don't want to be in the relationship. Someone say, let every bewitchment break. <laughs> Someone say, let every bewitchment break. Fire of God expose every bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Fire of God expose every bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Fire of God expose every bewitchment in that precious one's life in the name of Jesus. Fire of God expose the bewitchment in that precious one's life in the name of Jesus. Fire of God expose the bewitchment. Expose the bewitchment. Expose the bewitchment. Fire of God expose the bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Expose the bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Expose the bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Somebody say Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost expose the bewitchment. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost expose the bewitchment. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost expose the bewitchment. Expose the bewitchment. Every bewitchment in my life break, break, break. I appear my Sabbath. Every bewitchment break, every bewitchment be consumed by the fire of God, every bewitchment be consumed, Holy Spirit, let the Bakiba la Masantana Masontoro Boketele, Ia Masontoro Bosete, in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. You want to be with a person, but you don't want to be with a person. So you're deep within you, you sense this strong thing, not saying this strong desire. You're saying, I want to have my own spouse to myself. I don't want to be in a relationship where I have to share this person with another. I don't want to be in a relationship where I have to share myself with another. I don't want to be in this kind of relationship. I want to be in a, a different kind of relationship. Oh Lord, how did I find myself in this place in the first place? Myself in this kind of situation. Fire of God, consume it. Fire of God, consume it. Fire of God, consume it. Let the eyes of your understanding be opened. Those are, that, is the, the, that is the Lord opening the eyes of your understanding. That is the Lord opening the eyes of your understanding. That is the Lord opening the eyes of your understanding. Break it. Break it. We break it. Malaba soto robo shete bete siya baba Mahi andara makoto bo siya basete In the name of Jesus
Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Halabakoto. Someone say break every curse in the name of Jesus. Someone say break every curse in the name of Jesus. Break every string, every tie of bewitchment. Break that tie of bewitchment. Break that tie of bewitchment. Oh Lord, break that tie of bewitchment. Break that tie of bewitchment. Every bewitchment that has kept me in multiple relationships. Break tonight in the name of Jesus. Every bewitchment that has kept me in a network of relationships. Break, break them, break the network in the name of Jesus. Every bewitchment that has kept me under the control of this power that I am not aware of. Break, oh Lord, break in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus. Break it in the name of Jesus. I sense fire on this broadcast. I sense fire right where I am sitting. The fire of God is all over me. I sense fire in this place. And there's, there is enough fire here to, for, for everyone who desires to be set free. Uh, to be set free from suffering, from frustration, from pain. Uh, to, be, to be set free today. There is enough fire. There is enough fire for you to be set free. Every satanic network of suffering, every satanic network of frustration, every satanic network of pain, be exposed today and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be exposed today and destroyed in the name of Jesus. We declare this place a no-fly zone. We declare this place a no-fly zone. This broadcast is a no-fly zone. Sealed by the Holy Ghost. This, this broadcast is a no-fly zone. We forbid any flying around here. We forbid any flying around here. Lose them and let them go. We forbid any flying around here. We forbid any flying around here. Somebody declare this broadcast a no-fly zone. Declare it a no-fly zone. Fire of God consume them. Fire of God consume them. Fire of God consume them. We declare this broadcast a no-fly zone. Somebody declare this broadcast a no-fly zone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we declare this broadcast a no-fly zone. You are not permitted to fly around here. You are not permitted to fly around here. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. I see fire in someone's house. I see fire in someone's house. The fire of God is burning somebody right now. The fire of God is burning on someone right now. Every anti-marriage spirit, the fire of God is burning. The fire of God is burning in someone's home right now. The fire of God is burning you. You sense fire all over your body. You sense fire all over your body. In the only part where you don't sense the fire is on your head. But from your shoulders, everywhere, your back, you sense fire. You sense fire. You sense fire. You're suddenly feeling very, very hot. You're suddenly feeling very hot. Let the fire of God consume anything that the Lord has not planted. Let the fire of God consume anything that the Lord has not planted. Let the fire of God consume anything that the Lord has not planted. Fire of God consume them. 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 Consume them. Consume them. Consume anything you have not planted. Consume anything you have not planted. Fire of God consume them. Fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Hey, Bali Baba Sakata Yama Soto, Shadi Karaba Santeri Ababa Sete, Riza Yimando Robo Sekete. Let everything the Lord has not planted in your life break. Everything the Lord has not planted in your life break. Everything He has not planted break, 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 break. Mayama, Mayama, Mayama. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, Who has bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. Who has bewitched you? 
The goal of bewitchment is to ensure that you don't obey God. Hey, baby, ba 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 ba. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure that you don't obey God. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure that your life does not obey God. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure that you don't obey God, so that you will not enjoy the promises of God. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure. That you cross over and you or you you get the rewards from them instead of getting the rewards. Someone says, Yes, Lord, break it. Yes, Lord, break it. Yes, Lord, break it. Yes, Lord, break it. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure that they take your life. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure that they take your life. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure they take your life. Someone say nobody is taking this life. Isaki Amazande Ribazanda. Mayi Mazonto di Baba Bazente. Rika Zikara Basoto. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure they take your life. The goal of bewitchment is to ensure they take your life. That is the goal of bewitchment. They are after your life. They are after your life. Raki Amazape. Someone say yes, Lord, break it. Someone say yes, Lord, break it. Someone say Yes, Lord, break it. Someone say, Yes, Lord, break it. Someone say, Yes, Lord, break it. Break it, Lord. O Koriya Baba Shantaraba. He and the Ria Makaraba Soto. Visi Katazia Baba Sete. Break it, O Lord. Break it, O Lord. Rikazia Baba Santa. Makata Laba Soto do Bobobo. Rika Likenderia Mama Soto. Ria Mama Doro Bobobo Sete. Ramina Riba Soto. All barrenness be burnt this night in the name of Jesus. Every kind of barrenness, financial barrenness, social barrenness, marital barrenness, physical barrenness, barrenness in your business, barrenness in your community, wherever it is. Someone say, Break it, oh Lord. Someone say, Burn it, oh Lord. Someone say, Consume it, oh Lord. Someone say, Consume it, oh Lord. Every curse causing barrenness in my life, in my marriage, in my, in my career, be consumed by the fire of God. No one one will take my life. Break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. Makia Baba Soto Shimandara Basete. Mizi Kantazi Baba Soto Bosia Baba. Mazi Kete Simandara Basoto. Ekete, 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 Ekete. Yamalanda la Mala Baba. Makai Baba Basoto Robobo. Rande Kesete de Besete. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. The goal of bewitchment. Is to take your life. That's the goal of bewitchment. Someone said no one will take my life. Someone said no one will take my life. Someone said no one will take my life. You need to declare over your life. Declare over your children. Declare over your, your family. Every curse that is fighting husbands and wives break today. Every curse that is fighting families break today. Every curse that is fighting resources break today. Every curse break. Every curse break. Mazi baba ba soto do bobo. Rikazi manda. Consume late marriage curses. Consume every curse of late marriages amongst your sons. Let it break. Someone say, not my life, not my family. Let every curse over my life break, Lord. Break today in the name of Jesus. Break today in the name of Jesus. Every bewitchment break. Every bewitchment break. Every bewitchment break. I tell you, somebody needs to be on this broadcast. I am sensing it very, very strongly. I sense it very strongly there's someone whose destiny counts on it they've got to be on this live broadcast i tell you the spirit of god is speaking expressly there are some people who need to be listening to this there are some people who need an encounter with god to break every bewitchment in their lives to break every bewitchment in their lives every bewitchment break break your hold break your hold break your hold not my life not my my family, not my marriage, not my resources, not anything that concerns me. You break in the name of Jesus. You break in the name of Jesus. Mazika tada baba soto, rishanda zimanda da baba ba, wokoto di baba ba sete bianda. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. My Bible tells me in Mark chapter eight and verse thirty-six. 
what I just told you. The goal of the curse is to take your life. The goal of the curse is to take your life. The goal of the curse is to promise you the world, but to take your life. Ah, every destiny robber that has been lying to me, every lie that has been lying to me, be consumed by the fire of God. Be consumed by the fire of God. Be consumed by the fire of God. Every life robber that has been lying to my husband, lying to my children, lying in my community, lying and all around me, be consumed by the fire of God. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Every, every life thief, those life robbers, robbers of life. They are after the life. They are after the life. Let every one of them be consumed by the fire of God. No one will take your life. I say no one will take your life. You will not die prematurely. You will not die prematurely. You will live and you will declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. You will not die prematurely. I came to say to somebody, you will not die prematurely. The God all of bewitchment is to kill you prematurely, is to take your life prematurely, is to snuff out your life prematurely. That's why we are saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Every destiny rubber be consumed. Not my life. Not my spouse. Not my children. Nobody that God has given me will die prematurely. I the number of your years you will fulfill the number of your years you will fulfill if you break that curse if you break that tie if you break that link if you break that thing that ties you to that network I tell you you need to break it enough is enough enough is enough break it break it break it I will not lose my life I will not lose my life I will not lose my life in the name in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Hey! Baka ya baba sata. Mahi anda kizi anda lima zobo lobo sete. Rika ya mako to robo shita. Ria baba sente lima zonto. We will not lose our lives prematurely. Hallelujah! That's why I believe that it is so important for us to invest our resources in a message like this one. Hallelujah. That's why I believe that you and I have a responsibility to take this word out to our neighbors, our family members, anyone who wants to break free from the power of bewitchment. That's why I think, believe that it's a good place to invest my resources in. So that's why I keep thanking you all. So as you give tonight, let me know you have given. So I can agree with you in prayer. Let me know you have given. Hallelujah. As you give, go ahead and let me know. The PayPal link and the and the what's and the um, cash app are going to be posted right there so you can give. Hallelujah. I believe this is good ground. This message needs to go out. This message needs to go out. I tell you more than ever before. The, everyone should be paying attention. Every Everyone should be focusing on this. Sowing seeds to break curses on finances. Everyone needs to be focusing on this more than ever before. More than ever before. More than ever before. The number of our years we will fulfill. We have to invest ourselves in the message that works. In the message that sets free. Thank you so much for putting up the, the cash app and the paper link. Uh, someone put it up. Someone put it up. Hallelujah. 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 Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I said enough is enough. Reneke siya mandara basoto. Rikanta li mama soyo bobo bo shente li ababa sekete. Rikanta la mama soyo mondo dodo. Rikiza la masente li abasoto. Mahi andari ya mama sokoto. I am just waiting for those links to go up. Thank you. Uh, 
uh, as you let me know, uh, as you let me know you're giving, uh, as you let me know you're giving by cash app, you're giving by PayPal, uh, you know, so we can take this word out. Uh, as you let me know that this message needs to go out. And uh, God bless you, God bless you. Someone says, I have given my offering. God bless you. I tell you more than ever before this message needs to go out. This is the word that needs to go out. I'm telling you, uh, this is the word that needs to go out. This is the word that needs to go out. I'm about to share some things with you that will blow your mind to smithereens. I'm about to share some things with you that will blow your mind to smithereens. Wait on what is going on. Wait until I show you what is going on around us. And we have no idea it is happening. I cannot continue to sit on something that God has shown me. I am about to expose this thing. I am about to expose this thing. Let me expose it. I will expose what God has shown me. I will expose what God has shown me. If you want me to expose it, go ahead and go ahead and say expose it. So go ahead and say I expose it. Someone Oh, oh, expose it, expose it. My mama sat at a bashapali mama soto. Oh, Lord, I saw this seed. I saw this seed. Kaki kata di basapa ya baba. Mayondo robo, mayondo robo, mayondo robo, mayondo robo. Maki baba sende debe. No, it's the Holy Ghost who is about to blow our minds. I'm telling you, I am just sharing what the Spirit of God is saying. Someone says, I gave my offering. Someone says, expose it. I am just sharing what the Holy Ghost has shown me. I am just sharing what the Holy Ghost has shown me. I would not know these things except the Holy Spirit shows me. Except the Holy Spirit gives me concrete evidence. And I am I am shouting out something that the Holy Ghost is saying. Somebody, are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you for that PayPal link. Hallelujah. Someone says, my seed. Ribaba Soto Ribaba Seke is the only voice my future obeys. So go ahead, let me know so we can we can get out of this phase so I can take you into the next level. Let me know you are sowing. Let me know you are sowing. Let me know that you're supporting this message to take it out. Let me know you're supporting this message to take it out. Ribala makotolo bositala mayepelende limalomo kiyabasipala baseke. I was once a dummy when it came to curses. I'm telling you, I was a dummy. Every curse on my finances break today in the name of Jesus. Every curse on my relationships break today. Today, not tomorrow. Every curse on my children break today. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. It must break today. It must break right now. I'm telling you, I was once a dummy, but not anymore. Not anymore. I have not spent my time, my life, studying curses, but the Lord God has opened my eyes in ways uh, that have blown my mind to smithereens uh, and I will be sharing them uh, a few things as we go along. Uh, I will keep sharing a little more and a little and a little, amen, as the Holy Ghost gives us utterance, hallelujah. Someone is saying, help us, Lord. Indeed, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Bewitchment. Someone else says, I have given. Someone else says, I have given. We are giving to take this message out. We are giving to take this message out into homes. People who need to hear this and be set free. Someone say, we need to take this message out. I'm doing my part as God gives me grace. And we all are doing our part as we give. Hallelujah. We all are doing our part to take this word out. I'm seeing all of you confirming. I'm seeing all of you confirming. I see you all confirming. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Somebody said the blood of Jesus. Someone said the blood of Jesus. Someone said the blood of Jesus. Someone said the blood of Jesus. 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 We declare this place a no fly zone. No fly zone. No fly zone. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. 
force. Curses are imposed by sacrifice. Curses are imposed by sacrifice. That's why we are calling out on the sacrifice in the blood of Jesus. Call out on that higher sacrifice. Call out on that higher sacrifice. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a higher sacrifice that nullifies every curse that is imposed by sacrifice. Every time they're about to curse you, they offer a sacrifice. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. Back it up, Baba. Every be every curse on my business. Hey, every curse on my hands. Every curse on my vision. Every curse on my mission. Every curse on my potential. Every curse on my assignment. Every curse on my destiny. Every curse. Someone say every curse. Someone say every curse. Every curse on my future. Some of the curses have already gone in and they have eaten up your potential. Some of the curses have already gone in and they have eaten up your potential. They have eaten up the seed of your greatness. They have eaten up the seed. I'm talking to somebody right now. I see somebody right now. Right now as I'm talking to you. I see somebody curse a curse that was intended to eat up the essence that is within you a curse that was intended to eat up the essence within you the seed of greatness that was within you has been tampered with the seed of greatness that was within you has been tampered with but today uh, the blood of Jesus uh, the blood 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 of Jesus speak well on your behalf uh, speak good things on your behalf uh, speak better things on your behalf hallelujah hallelujah Glory, 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 glory. Let me, let me, let me show you a few more things. Let me show you a few more things. Let me show you a few more things. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'll show you a few more things and we will pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You see, curses, curses, curses. Boil down to one thing, bewitchment, bewitching, bewitching, bewitching. When I look up bewitching, bewitching, hey, when I look up bewitching, I looked up bewitching, here's what I found in the Miriam Webster dictionary. It says bewitching is to be controlled, to be controlled or affected by or as if by a magic spell. Bewitching, bewitching, bewitching by, according to the Miriam Webster dictionary, is to be controlled or affected by or as if by a magic spell. To be controlled. Bewitching is to be controlled. Bewitching is to be controlled. So when the Lord is asking who has bewitched you, the Lord is asking who is controlling you. Hey, who is controlling you? Who is controlling you? Who is controlling you? Do you have your egg? 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 If you have your egg ready, let me know I have my egg. If you have your egg ready, let me know I have my egg. Let me know I have my, let me know you have your egg. Do you have your egg ready? Do you have your egg ready? If you have your egg, come on now, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up because I want to take you to the next level. I want to take you to the next level. I want to take you to the next level. If you have your egg, tell me I have my egg. Tell me I have my egg. We're running out of time. Otherwise, I will not be able to do this. Tell me you have your egg. As soon as 15 people confirm they have their eggs, that's one. Number one. As soon as 15 people confirm they have their egg, that's two. Somebody count. Somebody count. That's three. I have my egg. Somebody count. Somebody count. As soon as you confirm you have your egg, that's four. Let me know. Let me know. Somebody, as soon as you post 15 people, you count 15 people.
people. I'm going to go ahead and show you something. Hallelujah. You see, bewitchment, bewitching is to be controlled. Bewitching is to be controlled. Bewitching is to be controlled. So you and I are controlled by either we are always controlled by something. We are always controlled by something. I'm waiting for the message that says, uh, you know, 15 people have their... Fifteen, only 15. As soon as you let me know that you have counted 15. Let me know that you have counted 15. I'm about to show you something. I'm about you something i'm about to show you something ah la baba son do lo bobo bondo 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 Basoto, bird egg without the shell, bird egg without the shell, Baba Bamba, Balabason, Torobo Sibabanda, Likata di Babasante, Rimaima Soto Zibabayanda, Rapicata da Basoto. Has anybody counted 15? Anyone counted 15? If you have counted 15, 15, just 15 people who have their eggs, Rima Zipaya Basoto Bosete. Hallelujah. Go with me uh, to Job chapter 6. Job chapter 6. Job chapter 6. Raki Galo Bobo Santo Lobo City. It's very subtle. That's right, Miss Catherine. It is extremely subtle. And that is the disturbing part. The disturbing part is the subtlety of this whole machination. That is the disturbing part. So Job chapter 6 and verse 6. Job chapter 6 and verse 6. Hallelujah. Job chapter 6 and verse 6. Are you there? Are you there? My Bible says in Job chapter 6 and verse 6, asking one question. Can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt? Or is there any taste in the white of an egg? Is there any taste in the white of an egg? Go ahead and take that egg. Separate the egg, the yolk from the egg, from the egg white. Go ahead and separate them, separate them, separate them. Once you separate it, I want you to eat the white part. Don't eat the yolk. Don't eat the yolk. Eat all of the white. Make sure there is not one iota of, of yolk in it. Go ahead and eat it. Go ahead and eat it. Just eat the white. Just eat the white. Eat the white. Go ahead and do that. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And let me know you have eaten the white. Let me know you have eaten the white. Let me know you have eaten the white. Have you done the have you done so? Have you done so? Ah, ya baba son do do bobo sekete. Shante di mando do bobo bobo sete di mama sokoto. We can tell him mama son do di mama shente di mama sokoto. We kasata da basoto. Have you eaten your white? Have you eaten your white? Go ahead and eat the white. Make sure there's no trace of yolk in your white. Make sure there's no trace of yolk in your white. Make sure there's no trace of yolk in your white. Is there any taste in the white of the egg you have just eaten? Is there any taste in the white of the egg you have just eaten? Come on, somebody talk to me quickly, 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 quickly. Is there any taste in the white of the egg you have just eaten? Is there any taste in that white? Some Somebody, come on now, come on now. I'm sure it doesn't take that long to eat your white. Is there any taste? There goes. Someone says, I have eaten all of the white. Let me know. Is there any taste in the white of the egg you have eaten? Is there any taste in the white of the... Somebody go ahead. Let me know you have eaten your white. Let me know you have eaten your white. Oh, someone says, no ma'am. Is there any taste in the white of the egg you have eaten? Is there any taste? Is there any taste in the white of the egg you have eaten? Is there any taste in the white of that egg? Someone, I've seen one person, one response, one response. I'm waiting for the others. 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 I'm waiting. I'm not taste. Someone says, no, no. Hey, there is no taste in the white you have eaten. Someone said, it tastes the white. It tastes like it needs salt. Very good. Bewitching. Bewitching makes you like the white of an egg. <laughs> Bewitching makes you like the white of an egg. The curse makes you like the white of an egg. The curse makes you like the white of an egg. 
That is what, that is the effect of a curse. That you are alive, but you have no taste. You are alive, but you have no flavor. You are alive. I am a kotobo. Someone say fire of the Holy Ghost. Change my story. Holy Spirit, by your fire, change my story. Holy Ghost, by your fire, change my story. That is what, that is the power of bewitch, bewitching. When a person is bewitched, you exist, but you have no taste but you have no taste you exist but you have no taste why do they bewitch you so you can exist but you will never make an impact ah the curse makes you makes your life taste like the white of an egg it doesn't matter where you are all you do is merely exist everything you do only helps you exist but you can never have a name because they have eaten up your essence you are alive but you have no taste you are you have qualifications but you have no taste you are only living for the now you are only living for whatever you think you should live for but the real essence the real reason why you should be living you never discover that is the power of bewitching when the bewitch you is so that you can be like the white of an egg no flavor you don't flavor community. You don't flavor your marriage. You don't flavor your family. You don't flavor the business workplace. You don't flavor the business arena. You don't flavor anything anywhere you are. You never flavor anything. You only exist. You only exist, but you never leave. You only exist, but you never leave. You are alive, but you have no taste. Are you alive, but you tired of it uh, because God has made you relevant uh, and they have eaten up your essence uh, by the curse of bewitching her. Uh. Someone say Holy Ghost change my story. Hey! Someone say Holy Ghost change my story. Uh, that is not you. I came to tell you uh, that is not God's work in your life. Uh, that is not the work of God in your life. Uh, we will pick it up from here. I will show you who is behind it. Uh, I will show you who is behind it. Uh, I will show you how we need to go about it. Uh, I will show you. I said I will show you. Uh, this was curses. Breaking curses for dummies. Uh, breaking curses for dummies. Uh, Father, I prophesy over your people. Uh, they they will have taste in their family. Uh, they will have taste, uh, flavor in their marriages. Uh, they will have flavor in their communities. Uh, they will have flavor in their nations. Uh, everyone under the sound of my voice, uh, I prophesy over you uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, by the anointing that the Lord has put on me. Uh, I, I, I prophesy uh, over you. Uh, you will have flavor in your nation. Uh, you will have flavor in your family uh, you will have flavor in your community uh, you will not be an egg, the white of an egg uh, because the Holy Ghost uh, is about to change your story uh. father we thank you we love you we look forward to seeing you tomorrow God bless you and have a wonderful one bye bye